Mackenzie, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. The girls and I have arrived in Amsterdam. This is in fact our last, I know, our last <laughs> trip of the semester. I can't believe it. We've been literally everywhere under the sun. Hopped on a plane this morning and we have arrived. It's 2.30 p.m. We just checked into our hotel. I'm staying at Room Mate Anita and it's so cute in here. We got a fun little colorful background. The girls and I are in our Christmas jammies because I thought that that would be kind of fun for my Instagram photo. So we just took it. I'll insert it here. Make sure you're following me if not already. Style by McKenz. Gonna give you guys a quick little room tour and then we're gonna get out of here. Just dropping our luggage and we're ready for a full day. Let's go see Woo! Anne Frank. Yeah. So this hotel was actually huge. They had, I think, 12 floors and a lot of the rooms are neutrals, but a lot of them are colorful. We lucked out and got a really bright, happy, fun one. And we were right along the city skyline slash the canal side. So we got to have a view of both, which was super ideal. And then our bathroom was actually really nice. It was super spacious. We had a lot of counter space both on top and underneath, which for me is key. And then our shower was so good. It was huge, which is a nice change of pace from our bedroom at home in Florence. So, yeah. All right, the girls are setting out to explore, hoping to find something to eat. Look how cute this little spot we found for lunch is. It's so festive in here. Is it good? All right, we all ordered the same thing besides Lizzie. Lizzie got fish and chips, and the three of us got bacon brie club sandwiches. I bet it's not as good as the Olivia. It's different. Okay. Okay, so what'd you think of your sandwich? It was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as I hoped, but it was still pretty good. I really liked the restaurant. The atmosphere was very cute in there. Yeah. Good little holiday spirit. All right, I don't really know where we are, but a woman that whose shop we were just in said that there's a lot of good shopping around here, like little boutiques and stuff. So that's what we're doing. Just popping in and out. We're going to Anne Frank's house at 8.30, so we've got a few hours. All right, Olivia got a postcard already. Show us, so cute. This is another one of those cities that has like postcard stationary places everywhere. I think I'm gonna get mine here. I really like this one, the red light district, but I feel like it doesn't match as well. <laughs> I like this one. Oh my God, look at this one. That's really cute. This store is so cool because all of the clothes in here are influencers clothes that they're now getting rid of. And if you look at the tag, it has a QR code where you can scan into their Instagram and see how they wore it. And it has the original price and the new price. And there's like all kinds of brands in here. That's so unique. I love that. I know, we need to start this in person. It's kind of like detour, but this is in person and it's like a standstill store. Lauren, I'll put it back on once I buy it. Lauren just found this coat for $20. So cute. I need a long one so I can just stay warm. All right, so Amsterdam looks exactly how I thought it would, but the contents of what it is are so different than I thought. Disney or something. <laughs> like, this is a simulation. I don't know what's going on. So, when I think of Amsterdam, I think of the fall in our stars, when in reality, it's just like store after store after store, like this. Yeah. Of gummies and lollipops and chocolate and brownies and tea. Do you know how much is in Olivia has taken us. Tell us, Olivia. Tell us where you've taken us. I routed us to the Bulldog, which is a known dispensary bar chain here. They, well, it's actually like a company and they have like a ton of like dispensaries. They have bars, they have hotels. 
Um, I got a lot of people recommending. We went to the one next door toy. We didn't go to that. And now we're on a street that has every other store as a dispensary. And it's like dispensary mixed with like and then, snack And then like a 7-Eleven. For where all the high people go. And literally everyone around us is just oh, like stoned. Hey guys. She can just cover it up with like a smiley face. Um, <laughs> I have a brownie here. Some of it is already missing. Don't know what happened there. Um, it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we found a little cafe and we're getting churros. I don't know, they just sounded good. Mm. Say go to Olivia? Yes. <laughs> Olivia's brownies hitting her. Alright, we're done with our sweet treat. And now we are walking towards Anne Frank's house for that our just, tour. So we have the it, we like, have like the last tour of the night, which starts at like 8:45. So we've just kind of been walking around and looking at all the crooked houses. Everything looks the same, but very different here. It's like you go from cutesy boutique, very wholesome, like this restaurant right here, to like hook a bar that looks like so scary. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm excited to see it in the morning tomorrow. It's, we only had like an hour of daylight when we got here, so hopefully I can vlog in the house. Um, slash house tour everybody personally cool. I thought it was really interesting and beautiful and I think that is something that people don't really get to experience so I feel very like, I thought it was interesting I was not expecting it to be one of those like tours where you like put the device I up and listen that. to I it do hate that. I wish yeah. it was just silent and they had more info on the walls yeah because I just hate hearing that like beeping all the time. Like, <laughs> but I will say, um, I thought their hideout spot was a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Then what you like? Read about and it at school, yeah, when they like, describe it in class, it seems so much smaller. But it's actually huge. Not huge up there for eight people, but like bigger. Than, a lot yeah. bigger than you expect. Like, I, I guess. Was, like, I don't know why I always assumed they were like shoulder to shoulder, even though we were probably told they had multiple rooms. Yeah. But like I wasn't expecting there to like, be multiple, like a kitchen multiple rooms and a bathroom and like that size of room. So it was interesting. It was kind of creepy. Like, I, think okay. it's, I think it's the exact size I was kind of like expecting, but like it's just like insane to like see it in person. Definitely, I think it's, I think like, it's still it's something like that's said, worth it's like doing. Experience. It's a good. It's a good historical lesson. Yeah. Anyways, all right, we're on our walk home now. It's 10 p.m. Ready to shower and go to bed. Look how cute I got this soap holder in Nice last week. Love it. I really just came on here to say good night. Good night. I want Papa John's. Good morning, guys. It's Friday in Amsterdam. We've got a gloomy start to the day, but we're making it happen. Um, I'm headed down to get breakfast. I don't have all my layers on. I'll give you guys the full rundown of how we're staying warm once I get back and I'm all bundled up. But for now, this is what I look like. And it's gonna be a fun full day. Never seen a toaster like this. It like rotates your bread. And then once it's ready, it drops it down here at the bottom. Isn't that cool? I'm stocking up on all the sausage and bacon today too. I love hotel breakfast here so much. This one kind of reminds me of Switzerland and Barcelona combined. They have like all of the little pastries and donuts and muffins. And I just got some toast and some sausage and some bacon. They're making new eggs and new um, pancakes right now. So I'm gonna get seconds. Don't I went worry. back for seconds and got pancakes and a fried egg. And I'm so sad because after I asked for a fried egg, I realized that you can request an omelet. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And Lauren's <laughs> seconds are literally a hummus bowl. Oh, I love that. Mediterranean. Okay guys. 
this is what I've been wearing every day that we are out in a cold country. Leggings underneath my jeans, and then I start in a bodysuit, and then I have this like pack of three like fitted turtleneck sweaters, and I usually put one of those over top, and they're like a kind of a good length that they don't like stick out the bottom. And then I'm putting a sweater on over top of that. And then I'm gonna put on my jacket. And then I'm also gonna put on a scarf. And then I'm gonna put on And I still need to find gloves. And I'll probably still be cold. I also have two pairs of socks on today, but cute. Ooh. <laughs> No, wait, that's cute for too. All right. Do you want to see my outfit? Sure thing, Liv. I need a hat. Where did that one go that I this wore? One, this beige one. Okay. So I'm wearing leggings, and then I got jeans on, and these are my favorite jeans. They're actually Shein, and they're McKenzie's from sometime last year. Um, and then I got a white long sleeve from Zara, but it's stained with um, mascara from crying. Um, and this is also Mackenzie's shirt, this black one. She has that sweater? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also Mackenzie's puffer. Um, I did, this is my own hat. We're so cute and cozy. And then my dunks. I'm wearing my true um, favorite Hutch boots from Steve Madden. I will say yesterday I wore them with Christmas socks. And my feet were really bothering me. I don't think the socks were like thick enough. So I put on my tried and true cozy earth socks and then have another pair of socks over top of that. So Look, it's only supposed to be like 35 today. So that's why everyone's bundled. Yes, your dunks are cute, but I'm afraid that your feet are gonna freeze. And the lighting is amazing in here since this room is just one giant window. Yeah. Like you can see everything. Cozy and bundle up. Let's have a day. All right, we're doing a little bit of shopping to start our day because all of us need gloves. So we're in Mango right now. And guys, they have my favorite culotte jeans in more colors. And I literally have been wearing these jeans every single day that I think I'm gonna get them in black. They're a little more expensive here, but they're so cute. I'm gonna get them. Is that the color I already have? I think the ones over there are a little darker. Lauren has them on too. I wish they had the light wash for you. Look at Olivia, I just got a matching pink scarf. It matches her hat from H&M perfectly. And she got the hat in Switzerland. So cute. We're going to the sex museum, which shockingly, a lot of people recommended. I was really excited for it. You get to learn like the history of Marilyn Monroe and just like, Basically, how sex work is legal here in Amsterdam, it's like a huge part of their culture here, so. I think, um, I think there's a, like a section about the red light district. Yeah, there's like a whole little lesson on that, so keep you posted. PG-13 content coming your way. TJ Maxx and forever it's called TK Maxx in Europe and Lauren and it's next to a Starbucks I hope. and it's next to a Starbucks Lauren's so excited look at how huge it is in here 
straight to the beauty. Feels like America. All right guys, we found this cute little store and look at it. They have Madison. little Pandora beads, so I just bought Madison. And then I got another postcard. This kiss is from Holland, so flipping cute. Like, All right, I've been needing new foundation and I'm gonna try the Armani one. And I'm very excited. I'm doing the luminous silk and then a concealer to match. All right, and then I'm also gonna get a lipstick. I was thinking about getting this color, but she said they're out of stock. So I'm gonna get this one, number 106 instead. And then she just color matched the foundation to my face. I really want a red lipstick, but I feel like if I'm gonna splurge on lipstick, it needs to be something I'd wear every day. Such pretty packaging. I'm so excited. I'll have to keep you guys posted. I'll use it tomorrow. Many, many people have recommended that we do a canal boat tour. Even the lady who just checked me out at Armani. So we are doing one. We just walked up right outside of like the sex museum area and we hopped on the one that had the best stars according to Lauren. And it was 15 euros a person and you stick your headphones in here and it's gonna give us a guided tour for one hour and it's heated on here, which is what's really nice. Oh. Now, Lauren just bought a white cloth across the street. I haven't had a white cloth. Oh, we've never seen seltzers anywhere besides the grocery <laughs> store here. So her and Olivia just got one and then I got a bottle of wine. I'm so upset. Most, you can also do booze cruises that have like cheese and stuff, but look at how cute that bottle is. Hold on, we need the reaction on that. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're using it as a tripod. Yeah. <laughs> so, look at what Lauren and I found. Look, Mom. I haven't found. I haven't had since what August? Yeah. She has. Whoever kit you kiss under here will be your true love for life. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I've realized my problem is with studying abroad. I am my aunt, you guys. I remember like we used to go out with my mom and she'd be like, my mom is very, very, if you know my mom, she's like the most rational person you've ever met. Like she thinks through everything she does. And my aunt used to be like the fun aunt that would be like, whatever, it's $5 gummy bears at the counter, let's just get them. You know, like she was just always someone that was like, I don't even know if she was impulsively doing something, but she was just like, when I am in these cities, in my head, I'm like, it's only fun if I'm spending money or like I'm like buying this and looking at that. And like, it's such a like, yeah, it's a rush. And I, ch I channel her when I'm on these trips. Like in my head, I'm like, Wow, like I just want to go shopping and I want to like buy one of everything for all the people I love and like just like collect random shit and yeah. eat and drink a margarita. That's what I want to do in every city we go to. Which makes study abroad hard because we're in a different city every week. Yeah. <laughs> so if you Compared are- Compared to a once a year vacation. If you are studying abroad. Oh my God, how cute is that? Is this where we're starting? No, that little G. Anyways, um, so if you are planning on study abroad, I would say save every dollar and spend without regret. Spend thoughtfully, but spend with the mindset that you're never going to do this again with the friends that you have and you will make these dollars back. You will. 
It's okay. We were like very, I like looking back, like we were very single during our like weekdays and like remember those first two months, like those four days of week, like we were all eating dinner. I also want to note that I have been in an incredibly different situation where I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to go on trips for free, to get hotels and lodging and things like that, and to still be making money, so my mindset on the table Yeah, because I'm still bringing in dollars, but even looking at my credit card statement this month, there is not one thing that I would change about the way that I have gone about the experience. I feel because like I really feel like I've gotten every penny. I feel like there's very few things coming from someone who isn't making it in the home. opposite situation. Like I mean, like yeah, like I've had been able to stay like in the hotels like with you and some of that like stuff. But like everything else, I feel that you know there's very few things. I feel that I've wasted money. Like random things here and there that I was like, oh, I did not need to buy that. Like I, I feel like ups, that I got a hole in it. Today. Yeah. All right, our little boat cruise was fun. We are now in the Nine District, I believe it's called, which is where all the fun little funky, boutique-y, like, not chain stores are. And it's making me want to own a house, you guys. I really want to do this in my next apartment. Like, all these fun, funky, colorful candles. I think they're so cool. They're everywhere in Europe. Lauren has like an ongoing thing where she has to uh, eat a hot dog in every country we go to. Um, it started as a joke and like now it's just kind of something that works. So, how was it? This thing was seven dollars, so it better be good. I got the Oreo one, and I got a mini. Very good. All right, we're roaming around the little markets, exploring. It's like the same souvenirs in every shop, but. They have an Abercrombie here and they've been asking to send me gifted pieces for months now and I just like I'm not really sure what size I am because it's been forever since I shopped there so figured I'd take advantage and try some pants on here. Alright I have on their 90s vegan high rise in a 25 and they're literally perfect in the straight length. I mean regular length straight fit. Alright these are their 90s relaxed high rise. They're really cute. I have them on at 24. They're comfortable, but I kind of feel like I could do the 25 for a little room in the crotch. The stores here all have the coolest, most unique things. Like, how fun is that base? We've been shopping for like hours, and we just ventured into a little pub. We think that today, the Netherlands is playing the United States in the World Cup. 
No. I got my work. We think it's today, but it's not on yet. I don't know what's on the TV right now, but we were hoping that it will come on during our time here. And so we got some quesadillas, some nachos. Lauren's got a little bit of chili on the side. And they also have card games here. It's kind of cool. We just played this one, Bad People. Tell them, did you like your quesadilla and your nachos? I thought you meant tell Yeah, them. I was a little mad that because it was like, oh my god, get the large, we're all going to eat it. And there were still leftovers, so I had to pay more for the large, and no one ended up helping me eat. Oh, I might use No, I don't care. All right, I thought that my quesadilla was good, but it made me shit my pants, so points off for that. I can't. I'm too hot. I'm wearing my Rolling Stones shirt, even though I don't know two Rolling Stones songs off the top of my head. All right, anyways, so we... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I like boy. <laughs> okay, we're better. Um, anyways, it's what time? Nine twenty-eight. It's always nine twenty-eight, and we're it's just snuggling. We're snuggling, and <laughs> my butt. I'm oblivious. I'm gonna fart on her all night. From the chili. <laughs> From the chili. I ate extra beans tonight, so you fart on Olivia all night. <laughs> When someone gets too close, that's how we alert the other to move over. We just fart on them. <laughs> and that's how we mark our territory. <laughs> so basically, out. Lauren owns the entire apartment. <laughs> Tootie pretty check. Tootie pretty check. All right, guys, we're headed to bed. I don't even know if we're going to have enough time to do anything before we have to go to the airport tomorrow because literally every airport TikTok I've seen about Amsterdam is like, you're going to miss your flight if you don't get there four hours early, even if you're not checking a bag. So, and our flight's at what time? 2.15. Did you actually read 250. that? 2.50. 2.50. Did you actually read that? Yeah. Did you go and look it up today? I looked it up on TikTok. Oh, cool. What day of the week is it? Saturday? It shouldn't be that busy. One thing I like about Amsterdam is that I don't feel sleep deprived here the way I do on every other trip. Um, we went to bed at like 10.30, 11 last night and woke up at 8. It feels good. Um, so anyways, we're eating breakfast downstairs. I got an omelet today with tomato and bacon and cheese. Oh, it's not hot it But, we're realizing we have to get to the airport a lot earlier than we thought. So we don't really have anything to do today. We kind of just have to like, OG our way on over there, so. Hey guys, here's what I'm wearing today. My hat is from Walmart, same with my scarf. Same with my gray shirt, leather jacket, same pants I've been wearing for a million days straight from Mango. I didn't end up buying them in the other color yesterday. And then I've got on just some black boots, comfy, casual. We're going to go take some pictures, check out of here, but then I think we're just headed off to the airport because we need to be there early and I don't want to miss our flight, so... Turns out we did not need to be at the airport four hours in advance. We made it through security and got to our gate in like 40 minutes. But it's okay. Anyways, um, eating at Burger King today. Not our usual travel day meal. More of a happy meal from McDonald's kind of girl. But they don't have uh, McDonald's here, so I got Burger King. They do, but it's like This is my toy. Cool. I got food nuggets. French fries, barbecue sauce, kind of a ripoff because it's $5.45 for a Happy Meal from Burger King and they don't give you apples and it's only $4.85 from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, do better Burger King. Alright, two flights later I just walked in the door and guys look at Jules ended up staying at my house last night because her flight was canceled and she left me like the cutest little card ever that says Ciao Bella little postcard. This is like a little ornament. Jules is like always the most thoughtful like host and just like friend ever. Cute little ornament. This little Paris thing, she knows that this is like some of my favorite chocolate, this Oreo filled one. And then in her Prada headband box, she left me a bunch of like little pastries and stuff. She's so flipping cute. On another note, I just ran downstairs to my favorite little pizza place and grabbed a pizza. 
and I'm ready to just sit down and hit the hay. It's been a long travel day. It was a short and sweet but fun weekend. Amsterdam, you're definitely interesting. I can't say that I'll be back anytime soon, but um, I did enjoy my time there and I'm glad that it was honestly a shorter trip. I've got a lot of final projects and things like that to catch up on, so it'll be good to be home on a Sunday for a change. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog off here. I hope that you guys enjoy this fun little short and sweet weekend in my life. And I will talk to you in my next video. Love you guys.